Well, local restaurants continue to see the repercussions of the COVID-19 pandemic. We've been able to eat indoors now since late May, but restaurant owners are still having trouble finding staff. Fox News' Paul Bloom joins us now live from Osseo this evening. Paul, you spoke with a restaurant owner who says he's doing everything he, think he can think of to find those workers. And Randy, Amy, it's a familiar story right here on Main Street, if you will. Employers struggling to fill out uh, their employee staffing levels during the pandemic. And here at Duffy's downtown Osseo, a similar story. Basically, Monday night, this place should be hopping, happy hour, people enjoying drinks, food. Uh, they got a great patio here, but it is now closed on Mondays. Also, They've cut back on kitchen hours, also slashing their menu, all because they just cannot find enough workers here. This building was constructed, I believe, in 1875. Martin Duffy absolutely loves displaying the liquor licenses that hung more than a century ago inside what eventually became his namesake bar and grill. Those were found behind the tin, the tin wall. Duffy, so proud of what he and his family have built here in downtown Osseo, Recently, have to make a difficult business decision because they just cannot find enough workers. Typically, a seven day a week operation, Duffy's is now closed on Mondays, a move they hope is just temporary as they were turning away customers during our lunch hour visit. The cooks is the emergency right now. Um, the kitchen is the emergency right now. The Duffy's are offering 15 plus bucks an hour to start, no experience necessary. But they can't find anyone interested in the back of the house positions, despite the promise of on the job training. They figure a $300 weekly federal boost on top of current unemployment benefits, as well as a potential exodus of restaurant and hospitality workers from the industry during pandemic shutdowns, are making hiring a real headache in the current economy. The nation's small business administrator visiting the Metro Monday, promising continued relief and resources. From the federal government for Main Street employers like Duffy's. There's been a variety of impacts across the board. Some restaurants are able to retain their employees and hire employees uh, depending on uh, their specific marketplaces, and others have continued to struggle. The Duffy's will be here for years to come. This was not a uh, decision based on business level, it was a decision based on uh, the health of our staff. And Josh Duffy's uh, reference there to the health of his staff basically had been asking uh, his employees to step up, fill in extra hours, extra days, but it's just not sustainable here if they want to remain open seven days a week. As for that $300 bonus on top of unemployment insurance, if you will, that actually comes off the books federally. First week of September, the Duffy's tell me they're anxious to see what kind of applicant pool will show up at that point. Again, just a couple weeks away, they're hoping this Monday closure just temporary. For now, we're live in downtown Osseo. Paul Bloom, Fox 9.